Welcome back to Wood Acres. Today we're heading up to the barn to work on mounting some gates. <laughs> I hear you birds, I'm coming. Recently we just built those two front pasture gates and I want to get those mounted up, but I haven't had what I needed yet. I know, I know, you're all ready to come out in free range. Hold on. I had things to do too, guys. So before heading up to the barn today, I have to come into the garage to do some modifications to my hinges. If you've been following the channel, you know I like to use things I already have available to me before going and buying anything. I found some hinge pins up at my grandma's farm that would work for these gates, but I didn't have any hinge loops to put on the pins. I went to Track Supply and bought the hinge loops that would match the 5 8 pins that I have, but for some reason the 5 8 pins don't fit inside the 5 8 loops, so I have to do some modifications. So now I have all four of these definitely drilled out to 5 8 and these 5 8 pins still don't fit. I wasn't able to find a drill bit the right size so I just have this 23 30 seconds and I don't want to use that because it makes it too big of a hole. So I reamed them all out with a 5 8 bit. So since I can't make the hole bigger I'm going to have to make the rod smaller. I do have a bench grinder here so I'm going to try and use that to mill away some of the rod here and see if I can get them to fit. Hump up. Well, it took some time, but I got all four of them to fit. Now we can go hang the gates. Up, oh, pop. You ready? Get your ball. Yeah, good boy. I brought up some egg baskets and my bag of tools, but we got to let the birds out first. Come on, Mumbles. Get your ducks together. Come on, Sammy. Bring the snowballs out. Come on, Bert. Piper. Echo, come here. Go ahead, birds. Go find some forage. We were supposed to get a bunch of snow this past weekend, but we ended up getting more rain than snow, so it melted all the snow that we got the day before. Those jumbo pecans are the biggest waddle butts. How you doing, ladies? You enjoying the wood chips over the mud? Yeah, I think you are. We have a high of 39 today, and it's an overcast, but we don't have to worry about the bowls freezing. My main goal today is to get these front two pasture gates hung, but I also have a gate in the back that I might want to get hung if I have enough time. I'm going to grab some feed. And then I need to go around back and hook up the water again. I unhooked the hoses last night so they didn't freeze. Hey ladies. There you go. Alright, let's turn this valve off and this valve on. Just over 100 gallons from the snow melt and the rain we got this weekend. All right, we are flowing. And I hate to give you all bad news, but I still don't have this float valve working. I can't figure it out at all. There must be something wrong with this. I've had it hanging straight. That doesn't stop it from flowing. I've had it deeper in the water. That doesn't stop it either. 
I did reduce the valve here so it doesn't have that much water pressure coming down and that still didn't stop it from overflowing. I flipped the gaskets every different direction that they can go and it's still not stopping. I might go to Tractor Supply and look at a new one in the box and see if mine's missing a gasket or a piece. But for now, we gotta keep an eye on the water. All right, let's get started. You be nice, ladies. So we have our brand new custom built gates down here I want to get hung and then this fence attached to them and then this whole pasture will be completely enclosed and then I can start using these front gates to let the ducks down to the pond and they won't have to run so much on their little legs. Hey Piper, you staying to help? So I built two eight foot gates for these openings here and they're both gonna be mounted to the central tree post that I have. So the pins with the rods are gonna go on the tree post and then these loops, the silver loops, these are gonna go into the gate. What do you think, girl? We can use them? They're good? When I stretched the fence here, I left enough of the two by four fencing left over here to span this gap. And then this one has a little bit extra, so we'll have to stretch that one and then cut it to length. And as you may know, I like to be creative and build my own gate latches. So next video, we're gonna be making new custom gate latches for all these gates here on the pen. Hey girl, take it easy, back it up. But it's a little colder out here than I like, so I'm gonna try and get this done, then I can get back in the house. Not pipes, not pop. You trying to stay out here, huh? Keep an eye on the birds. Look out for hawks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Piper, hey, Piper, you gotta leave that alone, bud. That's not how it helps. All right, I got the gate leaned up in place here. Now when I wanna line up these hinges, I wanna make them a little bit higher than it looks like they're gonna be. The hinges are gonna go in the vertical board right into the end, but I want them to line up with this top board and the middle board down there. But since I wanna raise the gate up so it's flush with this post, I'm gonna have to try and drill a hole a little bit higher so it hangs where I want it. Oh, Pop, what are you doing, Piper? You quit biting me. Rufio's chasing down a Bonnie. Sammy's trying to get to her. Gates falling on me, not paying attention. Piper, don't get smushed. Uh, I'm gonna have the big wrench in here. I'm gonna have the big wrench. Run it, Piper. You're faster than me. Why don't you run down to the house and get that big wrench? I gotta get that. I need to run down to the house and get the big wrench. I need more leverage to twist those pins in. And I also need to get another drill bit. The loops have a smaller shaft than the pins I have. And if you saw the video where we were mounting our last gate, I snapped the drill bit that I need. It's a little ridiculous right now. We have a yard full of green grass trying to grow and it's January 8th. That'll do. And that looks right. Hey Piper, I see you hiding in there. You were waiting on me, huh? Come on, pup. Oh, I hear the chicken alarm. Water's overflowing. Shouldn't have went down to the house. Oops. Well, puppy, it happened again. Hey, hey, don't scare the ducks. Come this way. We got ducks everywhere out here. Yeah, Mumbles the Goose. Got a big screwdriver, but while I'm down at the house, I'm gonna let Dizzy out to free range as well. She's been out already today, but I can just see her pacing across the front of the pen the whole time. I'm coming, I'm coming. Okay, okay, you can run around. Go find some friends. No, not you little ones. You're staying in there. It's still cold out there. You are pretty puffy though. 
I'll give you that. All right, puppy, back to work. You be good, Dizzy. You stay in bounds, girl. The chickens have been turning over the wood chips here in the food forest. Not sure if that's gonna be a good thing come spring. Echo Pop, I know you had a ball with air in it. What happened to the volleyball? That soccer ball is flat, buddy. We're not playing with any flat ball. We're back, Mombles. We might be able to finish one gate today. <laughs> she's right behind the camera like she's taking the picture, huh girl? You're my photographer, huh? This top pin is tilted in a little bit, but with the whole weight of the gate on this one pin, it's starting to bend it up. What's going on? What are you doing, girl? You're supposed to be helping. Don't bite me. All right, I think I figured out my mistake. I lined up the hinges and drilled the holes where I had it sitting instead of raising it up to where I said I was gonna put them. So now I have them both where they should be and we're gonna see if that makes it easier to hang the gate. All right, well I have it partially on, but I wanna suck in that top loop just a little bit to level out the gate and I can't get it off, so I gotta fiddle with it. Good boy, yeah, good boy. All right, we got one gate hung. For some geometrical reason, I can't get the gate to slide all the way down onto the shaft, but it doesn't really matter because it still works just like it should. It's still able to swing open and close smoothly, so I don't think I have to worry about it actually sitting down on the shoulder. And it closes nice and tight and straight too, so I'm pretty happy with it. Oh, Echo's chasing out a bird. Good boy. Not today, Hawk. Not today. It could be a little bit tighter on the bottom. If it did fall down onto the shoulders of the hinges, it would be an inch or so tighter. But I can always close that gap when I stretch a two by four fencing across it. I'll just have the fencing come down a little bit so it can cover that gap. These are sitting at an acute angle, which is making them not want to slide on because the fit of the rod and the ring is just so tight. So maybe as I swing this open and close, it'll start to work its way down. But I'm happy with that for now. I just need to cut that two by four fencing and staple it onto the backside. Hey puppy, good boy, you got that bird. You yeah, you were chasing that hawk away, huh? But I'm running out of daylight, so I'm gonna try and get this gate hung before the night's over. Looks like Dizzy's ready to go back in with her babies. She is so sweet, she hasn't been running back to the barn. She still wants to go back into the mini coop with her babies. I got you, Diz. I got you, Dizzy. Yeah, you can go back in. Nice and warm in there. You don't have to bother with all the other girls and the boys out at the barn. There you go. She does have a nest of eggs back there, but I don't know if she actually sits on them long enough to actually do anything. But she does have some eggs back there she sits on during the night, so I just leave them in there for her. What are you two doing? Your little acrobats up there playing on your ladder. Little parakeets, huh? Yeah. Good job, Dizzy. You're being a good mom. Echo Pup's running the perimeter as the hawk flies over. Now, a little bit more than the perimeter, Pup. Keeping my duck safe.
running out of daylight and the ducks are already starting to head in but i think i got this second gate hung i had to alternate these a little bit because they are long enough to touch in the middle if i put them in the same spot so i just alternated this one a little bit higher i got it to sit further down on this collar than i did this collar but we are almost even at the top and if you remember when we built these gates that gate is a little bit skinnier than this gate but this one closes almost as tight as that one so we're just gonna have to have a good latch on this so don't worry next video we're gonna be making some custom latches for this gate that gate and the gate up there so i'll probably attach these fences to the gates whenever i do the latches so we'll finish these up on the next video once we get these latches done the next time we let the birds out we'll be able to use these front gates what are you doing mumbles take your ducks to bed get on rosie why are you the one out again come on ducks everybody to bed come here pop come on Let's round up the ducks head on in birds let them get a snack on the way in, Pop. Piper's up on the fence scaring them. What are you doing, you gargoyle? All right, we gotta close the barn up tonight, so that's gonna be all for this one. If you wanna keep following along with everything here at Wood Acres, make sure to subscribe down below, hit that like button before you leave, and you can see me and Echo on the next one. Thanks for watching.